Uh, today, you know me, I'm a bit of a gambling man and I was over at Points Bet Canada and I noticed that they have some early odds up for the four big NHL awards, the Rocket Richard, Hart Trophy, Vesna, and Norris. So here's how buy or sell is going to work today. I'm going to tell you who Points Bet has as the favorite. You can either buy or sell, agree or disagree on them being the favorite, but I'm not going to make it just that easy for you. If you buy and you agree, I want to know who you think is maybe a good sleeper candidate for that award. Someone lower down the odds board who you're keeping an eye on. And if you sell, I want to know who you actually think should be the favorite. So we're going to start with the big one, the Hart Trophy. Points Bet Canada has Connor McDavid as the big favorite, plus 225 to win the Hart. Frank, you buying or selling on that? Buying. I mean... How could you not? Yeah, I have a hard time betting against Connor McDavid at any point, anywhere, ever. So give me someone maybe a little lower down who you think is like, yeah, I think they could have a good heart trophy case this year. They could have a good season. Hmm. Um, Kirill Kaprizov. That was a name that actually stood out to me. He comes in at 14 to one. Jay? He, he made my list. He made my top five last year, so. Yeah, he was in the mix for a good portion of last season as like a top three guy as well. Uh, Jay, buy or sell on McDavid? That's yeah, hard to to sell on that. The, I'll buy as well because you look at McDavid, he just set a career high in points despite having the lowest on-ice shooting percentage of his career as well as his own personal lowest five-on-five -five shooting percentage over the last five years by like 4%. Like usually he's around 14. That's what his average was in the first six years. He was at 10 last year i think kane's gonna help his on ice shooting percentage because he's a better finisher so i uh, i think he might be a 130 point player you're a 130 point player you're pretty much locking in that you're gonna you're gonna win the 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 heart um but uh kaprizov is a very good pick uh, as an alternative choice uh, i'm gonna go with uh like hey awesome matthew still scores goals at a ridiculous rate and when you score goals you get people's attention it's it's hard it's hard to count out matthews because he could easily score 60 again. Does that does that count as lower down the board taking the reigning heart winner? Well, it's not first on the board, so I mean, technically. Yeah, it's lower, technically. <laughs> but yeah, how low on the board do you you're, want me to go? Really, I, I know you're, you're digging deep there, Jay. Well, how, how low do you want me to go on the board? 60 I, goal scorer that won the award last yeah. year? Well, there I, you go. Here's one. What about 20 to 1 Igor Shesterkin? I know there was it was a yeah. big debate last year, but if his numbers were to like, let's say, get better this season, he could have a pretty interesting hard trophy case, especially if the Rangers like win the East or something like that in the regular season. Yeah, I'll depend like to me for a goalie to win the heart, you got to play a lot of games. And I'm not sure the Rangers, if they're like, I just don't know if teams are gonna have like when Dominic Hasek was winning the heart, the guy was playing 67 73 to games, 70 games yeah. right? So I just don't think a goalie could can play enough games to win the heart. Yeah. Kill so. McCarr. He'd be interesting. He's a little bit lower than the 20 to one mark that uh, Shesterkin was, but that's, I mean, he's another guy. I'm too. just trying to think of other names that might. I was going to say Nathan McKinnon actually, cause it's the last year of his deal. And uh, may maybe he'll try to go out on a, on a big note before he gets his huge contract. Are you surprised that he hasn't signed an extension already? I am. Do you think uh, it could be they're waiting for clarity on if the cap will go up like you talked about earlier, Frank? Could it go up maybe a little bit next summer and that'll change? Nope. Because, it, I mean, it's the CBA is contractually written. Like, we already know that they need to hit a certain revenue threshold for it to go up $1 million. It doesn't contemplate any increase further than that. So Joe Sackick rarely moves overly quick. <laughs> and usually it works out. So, to me... You have until what, June 30th to sign Nathan McKinnon? There's lots of time. Everything that I heard heading into the summer was Nathan McKinnon is signing a record contract. Hmm. He's topping McDavid. Interesting. Yeah, well, hmm. That'll be a big step up from the bargain. Was he it 13 or 15? That was really the question. Wow. Interesting. Is he worth it? I mean, you can't let him walk, right? Like, you, it's almost one of those players where you just have to give him, to some extent, a blank check, don't you? Last is he number. worth it? I think he is. Think 13 he is. mil? McDavid, you could make the argument, is worth 20. Yeah. So how far down is McKinnon? Like, you need to readjust. Think about how long ago McDavid signed the deal. Yeah. Four years, yeah. All right. It's a long time. I'm uh, moving on to our next award. Cap hasn't gone up much though. 
It will. They everyone knows it is. That's the yeah, thing. That's so the thing. It's fair. They're in big trouble. Kale McCarr is the runaway favorite for the Norris Trophy. He comes in at plus one fifty, with second on the board being down at six and a half to one. So, Jason, you buying or selling on Kale McCarr as the runaway Norris Trophy favorite? God, it's hard not to. Like, he's so excited of a player, right? Like, in those eagle turns and how he accelerates through an eagle turn, it's ridiculous. But um, so, yeah, I, I kind of have to buy for I sound might sound crazy, but I might even buy more on him than I would McDavid at the heart. And I really like McDavid as the heart. But I, I just think Kale McCarr, what he did last year, kind of the only thing that stops him from winning is an injury. I'll yeah. say that. It's the only thing I think that can stop him from winning. But if, if I was picking, um, someone else i would go roman yossi i'm gonna go with uh maurice cider i think mm-hmm. most cider will if if he continues to develop he'll get a lot of votes that was gonna be my lower down the board pick he's 25 to 1 there's a whole Not low enough for you frank <laughs> well it's pretty low considering he was 46 points back right. of roman yossi that's a lot of ground to make up and i know it's not all about points but he was 19th among defensemen last year. That's a big jump. Uh, he still had just a damn good year for a rookie. And if he takes, oh, it was, it was incredible. And I'm interested to see what the next step is. I, I just, I like all the other components. I just, he's not anywhere near, he doesn't get anywhere near the, the points. And I think really importantly, the style points of Makar. Fair enough. You're buying. I'll, on- I'll give you a name though. I'll buy on Makar, but I'll give you my guy. Aaron Eckblad. Hmm. Without Mackenzie Weger? Yep. It's 12 to 1 on the odds board, so not that I far. would say, well, I mean, look at look at his year before he went out, and I know a lot of people are curious to see what the Panthers are going to be like with all the changes they made, but 57 points in 61 games hmm. before going down with that injury. He was playing 25 minutes a night. There was only a couple people in that category. Yeah, fair enough. Third one we got is the Vesna Trophy, where the reigning winner, Igor Shesterkin, is the favorite at plus 250. Frank, you're buying or selling on Igor as the favorite to win the Vesna. And, you know, same rules. If you're buying, give me someone lower down the board. If you're selling, who do you think it should be? I'm going to sell. And it's not because I don't like Igor Shesterkin. I love him. Um, I just think it's so incredibly difficult for a goaltender to replicate his success year in and year out. Um, the Rangers also have a different feel now. They're dealing with expectations. They're expected to be among the top class of the league now, having gotten to the final four. And I think that's really hard to do. Uh, the guy that I am going to pick is it's hard to go against Vasilevsky, but I'm going to go with UC Saros. Well, so he's 10 to 1 plus 1,000. So a decent pick down the board there. Frank or Jason, what do you got? I will sell for the same reasons Frank said, and I'm going to go with the wild card in Jake Ottinger. Oh, that's a good one. I like that 18 to one. He's almost in a way like a similar trajectory to Shesterkin, right? Is coming off a good year. And if he takes a step forward, he's going to be a top tier goalie in the NHL. So Ottinger at 18 to one, that's the second time in a row we've agreed on uh, our lower down pick, Jason. Uh, We're going to wrap it up with the Rocket Richard trophy. As you can guess, Austin Matthews plus 200. That's one of those things I look at and I kind of just go, it feels like free money to me. Like he's probably going to score 55 to 60 goals again, but Jay, you buying or selling on Matthews is the favorite to win the rocket. Yeah. Uh, like Makar, I think the, the only thing that derails him is an injury. Uh, I'm just not sure. Like I, I don't see Chris Kreider com- coming close. I think Leon Drysaddle can score 50 goals again, um, but I, I don't know if he can get to 60. So it, I, I will buy on Matthews is the art. I think he's, he's kind of like a, like Ovechkin, but I, you know what? I'll still go with the wild, the, the Ovi. He's he's my best guess as a wild card. The one guy who's capable of scoring 60 and, and almost a lock to score 50 is Ovi. I know he's not overly far down the list, but at his age, that would still be a pretty big accomplishment. So I'll go with the grade eight. Fourth on the board at nine to one is Alex Ovechkin. Frank? I don't think Ovi hits 50 again. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's hard to bet against him, but at some point the age curve catches up, right? It has to. Um, still go with Matthews. I, I made the bet last year. Um, and the only thing that makes me nervous is exactly what we just talked about is, is the health. You know, he had some significant health issues 
two seasons ago, missed nine games last year and still finished five clear of everyone. So um, that's the only thing holding you up from making the bet. Yeah, fair enough. Two to one right now. Uh, how about this for, for a lower down option? 13 to one. He almost had 50 last year. Kyle Connor. If the Jets have a bit of a better season, maybe he can get another six to seven goals in there. Maybe 54 is enough to win it. 13 to one. Ah, no bites. No bites on my Kyle Connor. I right? like Kyle Connor, man. He might be the quiet. He might be the most overlooked steady goal scorer in the league. Yes. Yeah. I mean, him, David Pasternak, a guy I'd throw into that category as well. I don't know. The reigning Lady Bing winner, Kyle Connor, four penalty minutes last year. Insane. 